one and a half miles north of St. Croix, Virgin Islands. A relatively small, uninhabited island rises 328 feet above sea level. One of only a few fully marine protected areas within the National Park System, Buck Island Reef contains one half of all Virgin Island reef tracks under National Park Service management. Slow growing and vulnerable to pollution, sedimentation, and warming of the seas, corals thrive only in a narrow range of conditions. Biologists see their plight as a planetary danger signal. Buck Island Reef is subject to many of the same stresses that affect this fragile type of ecosystem. Pollution, disease, bleaching, and hurricanes have significantly threatened the marine environment in the Virgin Islands over the past few decades. In addition, overfishing has led to the collapse of local area fisheries. The Coral Reef Task Force, established in 1998 by executive order, is a science-based integrated approach to understanding coral reef dynamics and processes. It is a powerful tool that's leading the way in the U.S. government's effort to better preserve and protect coral reef systems. Under this initiative, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, has been working in cooperation with the National Park Service since 1999 to provide the park with a geo-referenced coral reef base map, which will serve to help assess, monitor, and inventory the health of Buck Island's marine ecosystem. Without accurate maps and detailed information about the seafloor, resource managers lacked fundamental data to make informed decisions. In order to provide a detailed overview of the health of the entire region, shallow water fish counts and habitat surveys are conducted by specialized NOAA and Park Service divers. By relating data collected in the field back to the habitat maps and bathymetric models, the biogeography team is able to model and map species and community level information. These scientific methods provide decision makers with a more comprehensive overview of marine resources within the surveyed areas, ultimately linking physical habitats and biological information. The deep water component of the Buck Island Mapping Project utilizes the NOAA ship Nancy Foster as a scientific platform, an advanced mobile laboratory equipped with an array of technological tools. These tools include multi-beam sonar systems and remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, equipped with digital underwater video cameras that are employed to explore and map areas beyond the reach of traditional scuba diving limits. The goal is to integrate benthic acoustic seafloor data with optical data that can link physical habitats with biological information to accurately describe the landscape of the Marine Protected Area, or MPA. We wanted to be able to say, okay, in 2001 when the monument was established, this was what the resource looked like. Now that it has been protected for the last seven years, we know what's in the monument, we know the condition that it was in, and we can now report to you what condition it is in currently and what we hope to achieve by continuing our protection of these resources. Based on the analysis of the data of over 1,200 fish surveys, we're able to now evaluate the efficacy of the marine protected area here at Buck Island Reef National Monument. You know, for example, we've seen reef fish biomass in abundance increase within the marine protected area steadily since 2003 when enforcement was increased by the National Park Service. Looking at it from an individual species standpoint, we've seen yellowtail snapper increase in abundance since 2004, but we still know that these animals, which are long-lived, need further protection. You know, for example, the yellowtail snapper, the largest one we've ever seen in the park, is still 70% smaller than the largest maximal attainable size for that particular animal. So given these facts, and, and knowing that the park is increasing and being effective in protecting resources, we still have a long ways to go, and it'll require the continued strong bond and partnerships to monitor these ecosystems and organisms over time. So we are taking the information from the fishes and the marine habitat from all the diver surveys and looking at where we have high diversity spots or critical fish habitat so that as we're planning uh, to move forward in further protecting and educating our users to put more restrictions in area that are critical habitat for fishes, possibly be able to watch those areas replenish over time.
as they improve, we might be able to then take a look at moving further educational opportunities into those areas, or we might have to continue to let them rest. The teamwork and cooperation between both workforces, with these modern tools at their disposal, will provide a basis for improved reef conservation and restoration for not only the Buck Island protected area, but a greater understanding of coral reef functions in general, providing a basis for improved management, conservation, and restoration of these irreplaceable natural resources. Thank <laughs> you.